Hey there, I'm Cyan and welcome to Something Sciency. In this episode I'll be telling you about another parasitic flatworm called Leucocridium paradoxum, which in order to complete its life cycle produces Are you ready? Disco zombie snails! No really, it's pretty awesome. Before we skip to the good bit, first we need to know how the parasite gets inside the amber snail. Snails are nature's mops. They clean up messes left behind by other animals. So our story begins with this little snail eating bird poo. Yep, not only is he eating bird poo, but this bird poo is infected with leucochloridium eggs, which have to stay wet inside the droppings to survive. Once inside the snail, they hatch into myricidium. If you've seen previous episodes before, don't be confused. Although these myricidia look a little different because they're from a different species, they're called the same thing because they are one of the larval stages commonly found in flatworms which then transform into sporocysts. This is the stage of the life cycle where things get interesting. The sporocysts move to the hepatopancreas. This is the organ that acts as a liver and a pancreas, and into the eye stalks. Inside the eye stalks, the sporocysts display bright colours and pulsate. Whoop, 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 whoop. But this isn't the only effect the parasite has on the snails. Snails are what we call photophobic, which means they like to hide away from light. This is why if you go out into your garden, you'll find snails underneath rocks or leaves or hiding inside their own shells. Malucochloridium makes snails photophilic, which means that they like to sit outside in the bright sunshine on top of leaves where their pulsating tentacles look very much to hungry birds like yummy caterpillars and not like yucky snails. Birds such as crows, jays, sparrows and finches swoop down and bite off the infected eye stalk. If the snail survives the eye loss, the sporocysts still lingering in the hepatopancreas will asexually reproduce, making more of itself that looks exactly the same, and these will then form their own brood sac and infect one of the remaining eye stalks. In the bird, the sporocysts become cercariae, which then transform into adults. These adults are hermaphroditic, meaning they have both boy parts and girl parts, and they release lots of eggs into the bird's bottom, so that when the bird poos, the egg sticks to the droppings. And of course, from there, the whole thing starts again. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe because the next episode will be more about zombie parasites, which will be released on the first Thursday of the month. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comment box below and I'll try to answer them in a video that I'll release on the third Thursday of the month. But until then, here is a song about Leucocoridium paradoxum. L-E-U-C-O-C-H-L-O-R-I-D-I-U-M P-A-R-A-D-O-X-U-M I'm a snail in the sun Where it's light I won't hide away See my eyes shining bright Waving round Screaming, eat me, disco zombie, throbbing brightly all day long, disco zombie, eat me while I sing this song, L-E-U-C-O-C-H-L-O-R-I-D-I-U-M, P-A-R-A-D-O-X-U-M. Hello.
Thanks for watching. Bye!